you have learnt that covalent bonding is the means of joining non-metal atoms together. It involves sharing a pair of electrons with one electron coming from each of the atoms. In this lesson, you will learn that it is possible also to get double and triple covalent bonds where each atom gives two or three electrons. You will also explore cases where the octet rule does not fit the situation. Finally, you will learn about coordinate bonding, which is a variation on covalent bonding. Look at the two atoms of oxygen on the screen. The Lewis symbol for one has six crosses and the other six dots. How many electrons does each oxygen atom need to get to have a stable octet? Answer, two. Click on bonding to see the bonding of the two oxygen atoms. If you want to see it again, click on Reset and then Bonding. Now, two pairs of electrons, four electrons, are shared. Two come from each oxygen atom. Click on Show Bonds to see a double line showing two covalent bonds linking the two oxygen atoms together in the molecule. This is called a double covalent bond. Select carbon dioxide from the drop-down menu. Look at the Lewis symbols for one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. How many electrons are there in the Lewis symbol for carbon and in each of the Lewis symbols for oxygen? Answer, carbon 4 and oxygen 6. Click on bonding to see the bonding of the carbon atom and the two oxygen atoms. If you want to see it again, click on reset and then bonding. How many electrons are there around the carbon atom and each oxygen atom? Answer, 8 in each case. Click on Show Bonds. You will see the four covalent bonds within the carbon dioxide molecule. Notice that there are two double bonds within the molecule. Look at the Lewis symbol for the two carbon atoms and four hydrogen atoms. How many electrons does each carbon atom need to acquire a complete octet? Answer, four. Each carbon atom can form two single covalent bonds with hydrogen atoms. How many electrons are around each carbon atom when these bonds are formed? Answer, 6. How can the carbon atoms get full octets when they bond together? Answer, each carbon atom gives two electrons and the four electrons are shared. A double bond is formed. Now, see if you are correct. Click on Bonding to see the bonding of the carbon and hydrogen atoms. If you want to see it again, click on Reset and then Bonding. Click on Show Bonds to see the ethene molecule. Select Nitrogen from the drop-down menu. Look at the Lewis symbols 
for the two nitrogen atoms. How many electrons are there in each Lewis symbol? Answer 5. How many electrons does each nitrogen atom need to acquire a stable octet? Answer 3. How can the nitrogen atoms get full octets when they bond together? Answer. Each nitrogen gives three electrons and the six electrons are shared. A triple bond is formed. Click on bonding to see the bonding of the two nitrogen atoms take place. If you want to see it again, click on Reset and then Bonding. Click on Show Bonds to see how the triple bond in the nitrogen molecule is represented. Summary In a single covalent bond, two electrons, one pair, are shared. One electron comes from each atom. In a double covalent bond, four electrons, two pairs, are shared. Two electrons come from each atom. Examples of double bonds are found in oxygen and ethane. In a triple covalent bond, six electrons, three pairs, are shared. Three electrons come from each atom. An example of a triple bond is found in nitrogen molecule.